Hello everybody, how's it going? I hope you're doing all right. Uh, this is John here again for another uh, episode of Kitchen Hacks and today we'll be trying to hand at something a bit different, uh, something which, a dish which uh, for many, including myself, isn't really one that you kind of think of when you think of quick and cheap meals and that meal is risotto. Uh, and I know that risotto, I don't know about you, but for me that like, risotto sounds like the sort of dish and it did for me that seems like, well, it's quite tough, it's time consuming, it's expensive, it's a fancy Italian sort of dish. But for me, uh, you know, you kind of overcome that fear once you actually give it a try and you realize it can be simple, it can be uh, cheap. So yeah, we're gonna try our hand at a risotto uh, now. And I'll just kind of show you through the basic ingredients, okay? So first you need some rice. And not just any normal rice, but you want arborio rice. So you can see that here. Uh, and it's yeah, a certain type of rice that really absorbs all the lovely flavour we're going to put in it. So this is going to be a basic kind of paprika flavoured cod. And that's why the password for the Zoom chat, if you want to join and have a bit of a chat whilst we're cooking, uh, is paprika. That's the password. So if you want to join those on Instagram and then come on the Zoom, as we do every week, then yeah, the password is paprika. The link's in the Instagram bio, as always, it'd be great to see you uh, there. So first I'm gonna list the ingredients. And this will serve about four people. You can halve the proportions if you want, okay? So you want 250 grams of Arborio risotto rice. You can get that quite cheaply. Own brand will do, this is Asda. Other supermarkets are available. And you want an onion. Got a nice big one, anyone will do. One leek. Uh, you want kind of um, a box of, of, of mushrooms. Uh, I don't have a full box, so I used some the other day in another dish. But again, use anything you've got in the fridge, basically. A few mushrooms, that will do. But yeah, a whole uh, box is ideal. Garlic, optional, but I like a little bit of garlic, so. I'm gonna put in a couple of cloves of garlic, that's optional as I say. I never really used to put garlic in stuff. Bit of tomato puree. Again, the paprika, lovely uh, kind of spice that's associated with Hungary. Got a bit of that there, quite cheap again. Salt, pepper, vegetable stock. So I like these little cubes getting quite cheap for under a pound a box of those. Uh, so I'm gonna use a couple of these in some hot water, okay? So I'm gonna boil the kettle anyway to get that stock ready. And I'm gonna heat up my pan here and I'm gonna prepare my uh, vegetables, okay? And let me know what you're all cooking tonight, okay? Uh, so we're doing risotto now for those joining in. And I'm currently chopping my one leek and my onion. And then let me know what's on your plate tonight. So first, I've got um, my leek here. See all these funny bits here? What you wanna do, hi Emma, with all these funny bits. Don't get rid of them all. See that, that's kinda of tough. I'm gonna do this, watch this. Oh, that didn't work out quite well, but you wanna just peel it. There you go, look at that. Almost seems a bit naughty, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah. Now, I've got my uh, heat on low whilst I heat my pan up here. Got my leek. Uh, hi guys, hi Cormac. Now, waste not, want not. I'm gonna chop off the least I can here. End, end, chop. Let me know, can you see this? Uh, chop. That, see that? And then chop. So see how little I've kind of wasted there? That's not much waste. I don't know about you, but when I see all these chefs on TV and they, they just chop off so much and they end up with so much waste and I think, I mean, that's, that's the life of the wealthy, I suppose, but like, you know, come on, when you use all this lovely vegetable, you've paid for it. So I've got this, you don't need to get rid of all this, I love all this bits. So just chop into uh, kind of inch thick, however thick you want really little 
size is of leaf, okay? I'm getting impatient now. Little bits like this. There you go. Let me see, can you see that? Uh, so yeah, little bits like that. And then the onion. Actually, while we're at it, let's get ourselves a bit of olive oil. Here we go. Put a bit of olive oil in your pan here. Just a little, little glug, you know, a couple of tablespoons, I'd say. Onion, chop off the end of your onion, preferably not the end of your fingers. There we go. Let's see, but this does the trick. You don't want any of this, obviously. Chop down halfway, like that. Get your fingers under the layer and peel. Peel it off, and then you're left with this. That's what you want. Let me just keep cleaning up after myself. Got to be a good example. And do the same with the other side. You want to peel, get your fingers under there, and just peel like that. See how easy that was? Depends how big you like your onion bits. I don't know how big you like them. Uh, but obviously, the finer you chop it, the faster it will cook. So it doesn't really matter. Any way you want to do it, it's fine. I'm going to do it kind of lengthways, well, across the onion. So you end up with uh, these kind of bits of these little bits, these ribbons of onion that will go really well. So if you want, you can chop them again, chop them the other way if you fancy. Again, don't worry about precision. That is the name of the game here with me. I'm not telling you to do some special knife technique. Just chop it into bits, okay? Just, and don't worry. If it doesn't look like something out of a general or a cookbook, because even he kind of takes shortcuts and doesn't really bother too much, all you people. So, yeah, just go a little bit crazy if you want. Uh, so, yeah, let me show you these in my lovely hands. See those onions there? Put those in your pan there. Oh yes. Mm. Try not to cry. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, get those onions, get those nice bits of some onion, and put that one onion in your lovely dish. So what I'm using here uh, is a what they call, they call it a Dutch oven, okay? So it's like a ceramic pot which comes with one of these lids. And you can clamp that lid on tightly and it sits there and it will just cook really well. So you've got your onions in there, you might be able to hear them sizzling. <laughs> so just coat them in the oil. And a little bit more. And yeah, just let them, just let them simmer a little bit in there. All right, so. Next, what you want to basically do is we want to add the leeks and then we want to add our garlic and mushrooms, okay? So you want to kind of simmer this stuff for around four minutes. 
So I'm going to get my leaks in fact. See these? I'm going to chop them a tiny bit more actually. Chop them in half, these little circles. I hope you can hear that, that kind of sizzling now because I know I can. Yeah, so chop these in half, chuck them in there, there we go. Mm. But yeah, once you get over the tears, you'll start enjoying this dish a bit more. Let me show you a second there, bear with me. Here we go. You guys see that? Ooh, that's a nice smell. So yeah, just leave those simmering for a little while. All right. And now we're going to chop these things. Okay, one leek, one onion. We've got a pack of lovely mushrooms. Drop one on the floor for added flavour, just like I did. Now, I'm just going to chop these in half. Okay, and obviously, half is maybe a bit generous because I'm not being that precise, but don't worry about it. And I'm doing this with one hand, so it's a little bit undignified. There we go. Look at that. Just put these in your pan. Let me know if you approve or disapprove of my methods. Don't worry. And say hello. Let me know where in the world you are. Where's someone from Arizona in the other week? Someone chiming in from Greece, from Iceland? So you just leave that all in there to do its thing. In an ideal world, you want a slightly larger pan than this. I'm just using what I have. But yeah, something round really does the trick so you've got a nice kind of flatter um, surface for cooking more stuff. Hi Taco, how's it going? So yeah, there's the result. So there's our base stuff going, okay? So what we're going to do now is we want to chop up our garlic here, okay? Obviously it's quite hard to see when it's further away. You see that garlic clove there? So, basically, just chop one end off, like that, pesky, and chop the other end off, there we go. Bin those, say goodbye to those, and just, you can just peel this off. Look at that. See how simple that was? So you've got your clove here. And one thing to release the flavour in that garlic clove, what you want to do is you want to kind of squash it underneath your knife, okay? Now if you don't have garlic, don't worry about it. You don't need garlic for this dish, okay? You can use a spoon if you want, take it under your spoon, crush with your hands, you kind of squash it, alright? And that releases all that kind of garlicky flavour. You see that? So now you can just take your knife and chop it again. Let that be perfect and just put that in your pan, okay? There we 
There we go. So at the moment, as you can see, this is quite a cheap meal. Okay? I'm not going to be putting any meat here, any fish in here. All it is, is mushroom, onion, leek, and the rice. That's the basic stuff that you would buy from your supermarket. And some stock, which you could make yourself. I know a lot of people make stock themselves, but most of us don't have the time, do we? So you keep that going there. That smell is very nice, I can tell you. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit on this. Okay, again, let me know what you guys are up to, okay? Chime in, I want to hear your opinions. Look at that. Mmm, yeah. All right, so I'm going to make the stock, which will come in handy very soon, okay? So, just kind of take a couple of stock cubes, and just like this there you go there's one chop it up chop that stock cube up into little bits And there with me, there we go. See that? Bye now. Get your jug. And we want about, let me double check the notes. How much do we want of that? 750 milliliters. You can use chicken stock. The recipe that I've adapted is from uses chicken stock but I'm going to make this vegetarian veg stock. I'm going to put that in there, okay? So I'm going to put you back in the pedestal. That's what I've got today uh, to perch my phone in, okay? There we go. All right. So, get your stock, put that in your jug. And to that, I'm gonna add few squeezes of this stuff, tomato paste, okay? So you can get this for under a pound very cheaply as well. Uh, and I'm evidently coming near the end of my um, tomato paste journey with this particular tube. So just squeeze in a few bits of paste. Don't be shy. I mean, a couple of tablespoons will do. I'm just going to kind of guess it here. Everything you can out of that. Yep, there we go. Keep those hands washed. And that's 750 milliliters, okay? Of water. Turn that around so I can see. All right, 750. Oh yes. Starting to get warmer in here, I can tell you. Oh. All right. So you can see it's quite red that stock because I've got tomato paste in it. So very soon we're going to add that to our, our rice. Sorry, we're going to add the stock to our vegetables and then we're going to add in the rice, okay? That's pretty much 
the way that we go with this. And again, as I said, you want 250 grams of rice. I'm going to get that and get my rice. Let me figure out how to open this box. There we go. So you get that, 250 grams. All right, that'll do. The handy thing about these boxes is they're fully recyclable as well. And you've got that little tab there, see that? And you just push that in and it seals it a bit. So it's quite handy. All right, say goodbye to that. Ooh. Have a look at that, hear that noise with the rice. That's what we're gonna be using, okay? You can see, if you have a look at these grains, the, they're quite large, kind of chunky, so they're really great at absorbing all that flavour you're going to put in it very soon. So now, here comes the good part. Oh, in fact, I forgot to mention to you, this is the great time, maybe you should have done it earlier, to turn your oven on, because we're gonna put that in the oven. So put it in there at 180 degrees, maybe 160, if you've got a fan assisted oven like I do. And yeah, we're gonna put that in there for 12 minutes. Those on Instagram, wait a second, I'm going to show you, look at this, oh, not my face, you don't want that, bear with me, there we go, see that all softening, that is what you want, yep, a lovely smell, mushroom changing colour there, you want to add your rice to it, okay? In fact, paprika, add as much as you want to that really. I mean, I will add two teaspoons to this. That'll do it. There we go. And this is where the smell really starts to get an upgrade. Stir that in. In fact, let's treat ourselves to another nice shake of that paprika. Yeah? There you go. Another nice little bit of that. This is the time where you can add a little bit of salt and add in a bit of pepper. There you go. And you can see all that flavour going in there and the colour change and all that nice stuff. All right? Then you want to add in 
your stock. Okay? I'm sorry. I keep saying the wrong things. You want to add in the rice now, okay? Add in the 250 grams of lovely arborio rice. And again, you can get this rice at all the supermarkets. Even the Tesco Express is and all that sell them actually. Which is quite handy to know. There you go. Take your rice in, just stir it in. Okay? Mix your rice in. With that, like that. See that? And then once you've mixed that rice in, feel free to add your lovely stock. See that? Oh yeah. Put that stock in your pan. Okay. There we go. Pesky a little bit there. Splash of water. There you go. You don't want to waste any bit of that stock. Okay. Turn that heat right up on it. And you want that stock to be boiling. That's what you want. So you can see that nice little pool of all the little bits of risotto in there, all the bits of lovely rice. Again, let me know if I've lost your attention. Don't worry about a little splash, that's okay. So I'm going to wait for that to go to the boil. And when that has gone to the boil, clamp your lid down on it. You should probably have one of these or a cloth, anything, to stop yourself from burning yourself. So boom, on it. Okay? That comes in a sec. Again, your oven is a 180, 160. Let me put you back. There we go, nice and snug. All right. So yeah, we're letting that, leaving that there for a little bit, high heat, letting that come to the boil, okay? I'm gonna take this opportunity, add in a little bit more pepper. There we go, a few shakes of that. Put this stuff away. Won't be needing that anymore. There we are. All right. Hmm. Must say, some things are worth it just for the smell, and this is quite a nice smell. So, um, it kind of just really, yeah, hmm. that's nice. So at this point, again, while it's boiling, have a song, have a dance. Do, 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 do. And it's still not up to boil yet. Okay. Yes. It is nearly there. It's nearly at the boil. Let me show you. Okay. Stay with me, guys. Here we go. Do you see that? See it all simmering near the edge there? Let's say we've got lovely leek, lovely onion, mushroom, rice, and stock, veggie stock. That's all it is. Nice and simple. And I've added the paprika in there, oh, which just gives it that lovely flavour, that lovely smokiness, and the tomato puree. So a bit of tomato goodness, a bit of paprika, Generally quite healthy. I'm not putting any cream in this dish. No kind of added fats. Oh, you can, can you hear that? You can hear this 
this nice kind of bubbling noise, you can see it. And at that point, basically what you want to do is you want to just grab that lid, put it on there, put it in the oven for 12 minutes, okay? I'm going to do that now. All right, plant that lid on. Heat off, actually, keep that heat on. Keep that heat up, going up. Lid, on, like that. Off, that is nice and secure. Here we go, open up your oven. Put it in there for about 12 minutes. As I say, with regards to things like this, feel free to hold it on the end and support yourself on the bottom. And then there with me, folks. Just need to move my shelves in my oven. In the oven at 180 or 160 for 12 minutes. So whilst you're doing that, obviously whilst that's going away you can clean up, you can have uh, some side dishes, if you want to serve any meat with it. The great thing about this dish is, uh, so I'd modify it, okay? So what this is, is a, a kind of cod risotto, which has a couple of fillets of baked cod on it. I've taken away the cod, and I'm just keeping it nice and simple. Okay, let me show you. So this is the book that I've adapted it from. Uh, shamelessly, I'm gonna be honest with you here. Uh, you can see it there, but I've taken away the tomato on top, taken away the cod. Again, making it as cheap and simple as possible. But the great thing about this dish is it can be whatever you want it to be. So you can put a couple of bits of cod on top, um, as Joe Wicks did in his recipe. I mean, you could put sausages on top, little meatballs. I'm gonna just chuck these in the oven because uh, my family like a bit of, uh, bit of meat. So I'm gonna cook that separately. But yeah, it's pretty much, uh, again, quite flexible. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just have some sausages with this. Again, there's no need for you to have sausages with this. Obviously, this is just me cooking them for my family. But yeah, it's a nice vegetarian dish. Ignore the sausages. Uh, the risotto is a lovely vegetarian dish if you so wish, and it tastes luxurious and creamy and um, a bit different to your average kind of uh, rice dish that you might make. But yeah, there I've just got a few sausages, I'm just gonna cook those for a while. So yeah, let me know what you guys have been cooking lately, whilst I fold away some stuff. Uh, because, obviously I know that during this time, when things are a bit more, you know, you're kind of a little bit trapped or a bit restricted or, 
you know, sometimes you can't find everything you need at the shops. You're forced to kind of experiment or try new things or maybe eat things you might not necessarily have wanted to eat, you know. Um, but, yeah, let me know any kind of surprising stories, just in life any really, but when it comes to, you know, the kitchen, let me just plug you in so you don't disappear. All right. There we go. Better. Okay. we go. All right. So during this point, this is kind of the the, uh, the kind of boring section, you know, where you just watch somebody uh, wait for the food to come out the oven. But again, when you're doing this, it's a good time to clean up, like I'm doing here. So I'm a little bit messy sometimes. It's a few splashes of, of tomato puree, so. There we go. Mm. Those beautiful aromas. What else do we have here? Also, to those of you who join in a bit late and they see this and think, oh, what has he been doing? And you think, well, you know, how did he get there? Or, you know, uh, what did I miss? Then I'll be uploading the video, obviously, to YouTube so you can watch it uh, in full. And then also, uh, I'll be uploading the recipe to the Instagram story at King's Ready Life. Picking up all these little stray bits of the Marmoria rice. There we go. A little bit cleaner now, don't you think? Look at all this space. So, yeah, the basic story is for this is obviously you've fried off your stuff, you've put your rice in there, put your stock in there. And then you basically just simmer it for around, um, or simmer it as you saw, up to the boil. And then you put that kind of boiling stock of rice in the oven at 180 for 12 minutes. Take it out, which we'll do soon, and then give it a stir. And then put it back in for another 12 minutes. And then you end up with nice, lovely, uh, kind of creamy, rich risotto. And it's very simple, you know? I mean, it basically, if you're quick, quicker than I was, which you would be if you weren't talking as I am, then it would take you basically uh, half an hour, 35 minutes, really, if you want to say, heating the oven up. Basically, from turning the oven on, letting it heat up, it will take you 45 minutes, I would say, from getting stuff ready to on the table, out, around 45 minutes. So. Quite a quick turnaround, really. Uh, obviously, for those days where you do have a little bit more time, uh, you can put cod on it, you can put chicken on it, all those things. You could, what you could do is fry off 
couple of chicken breasts, just like you saw me do in the curries video a couple of weeks ago, and then lay those on top of the risotto. Uh, and then basically, yeah, lay those on top um, after you take it out after 12 minutes. And then that will just, yeah, give you a nice added flavor to it. But I'm keeping it very simple. As I say, Keep hydrated, particularly when you're in a kind of warm environment, oh, like I am. Yeah. Mm. Again. So whilst I'm standing around here, biding time, waiting for the time to go off, let me tell you what we got in the pipeline coming up. So this was risotto after last week. We did some lovely cakes uh, and a drizzle. Next week, I am gonna show you guys a kind of nice, simple, quick dish um, that you can make using shop-bought pastry, you know? Uh, in fact, basically this stuff, shop-bought roll of puff pastry, costs you a pound, a couple of pounds maybe, but usually a pound if it's on offer. Uh, you can roll that out, fill it with some nice uh, kind of fried, sautéed, you know, uh, vegetables, and then wrap it up in little parcels. Nice, easy dish that takes around half an hour, 35 minutes. Uh, you don't need to do much, really. You can just leave them in there. Uh, lovely, kind of little Cornish pasty-esque, kind of, not Cornish, but uh, wherever you are in the world. Nice, simple dish. So the pastry parcels, that's what I'll be doing next week. And I'll be serving those alongside cauliflower cheese. If you haven't made that before, it doesn't have to be cheesy. I mean, it's got a cauliflower in it, but it's one of those things. If you don't like cauliflower much, but you want a way of getting a bit of vegetable in your diet, quick, easy, cheap, cauliflower cheese is what we're doing next week. So, yeah, cauliflower cheese and vegetable parcels. You should join me for that. That'll be the same time, 7 15 pm, and I'll get my text set up correctly. Uh, Sunday. Sunday the, yeah, 19th, Sunday the 19th, uh, there we go, had to check my watch there to see the time. Alright, so, we are nearly there now, because I've been blabbering on long enough. We're nearly there at the first stage where we uh, take the, the rice out, give it a stir. Oh, yes. In the meantime, I've boiled some water here, obviously, first stock. I don't know about you, but let's have a cup of tea. I don't know, but that's what I do usually. So if <laughs> you're boiling some water for anything, pasta or whatever, I kind of can't resist the temptation to chuck a tea bag in there and have a drink. There we go. Bit of extra hydration later on. Very soon. And yeah, so. Turn the music up a bit. Okay, get some ambience going. There we go. Release the breath. Shall I take it out? Yeah. Okay. So, it's had its time. Oh, yes. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, that's 
warm. Let me show you guys again. Okay, so we're going to take the, we're taking the risotto out and I'm going to show you guys you know, what it looks like, okay? Whoops, there we go. Come on, bust and press there. Now, it's been in the oven, obviously it's going to be hot. Get your cloth, same thing that I would clean cold with. There we go. Oh yeah. Oof. Give it a stir. Get your spoon. Stir that around a little bit. Oh yes. You can see it uh, kind of thicken a bit. It starts to stick together. So a bit, a bit creamier. That is exactly, that's exactly what you want. And those grains of rice, special arborio rice, will absorb all that flavour. You've stirred it, yeah? And at this point, just chuck it in there again, okay? Now what you want to do, is chuck it back in there without your lid on, okay? Because that will basically give it that kind of extra bit of um, browning that you need, okay? Actually, yeah, 10 minutes will do, all right, 10 minutes. Alright, this is a two hand job. Gonna put you back there again, back and forth on the tech. There we go. Feel free to skip to the good parts if you're missing this. If you're getting bored, don't blame you. Alright, there we go. Okay. Yes. There we go. Good stuff. So obviously I'm cooking some sausages. This is not optional thing. This is just my life. You know, this is the dish that I advertised. It's not part of it anyway. But yeah, I'm just cooking sausages. Just gonna turn those things over. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Push around, again these tongs Really handy. I would definitely recommend that you guys get there. If you haven't already. Very handy. So yeah, just turn these over.
That's probably a rather an exciting interlude. Now there's just a couple of sausages here I'm adding to my risotto. Hi to those who are jumping in again. So as I say, you want the rice in there for 10 minutes. Got about eight minutes left on the clock. In the meantime, I'm probably gonna ramble a bit with this music in the background shouting over it. So just stand around and feel free to just enjoy a nice cup of tea made with the water that you maybe didn't put in your stock, but not the actual stock. dish is you've got your pan you can just serve it on the table if you're serving family eat it straight out of it if you want that much risotto let's say again you can half it so this serves four uh well three people in my case um but yeah you can pretty much uh half it as I say 125 grams of rice so a couple of people with one big portion in terms of preserving this stuff you can i mean I wouldn't personally refrigerate it. Well, you can ref okay, let me start again. You can refrigerate it, uh, eat it cold, but uh, if you do that quickly after you've uh, finished, you know, uh, serving it. But I wouldn't recommend reheating it because it might be a bit risky with that type of rice or risotto rice. Obviously, that's your choice, but yeah, it wouldn't be my choice personally, just because the, the risk associated with, with microwave and rice, reheating rice. But yeah, for those dishes, uh, it's really mm, nourishing. You want to eat more of it. But yeah, very versatile. Oh. Good stuff. So whilst I am, uh, kind of meandering around here. Hi guys, hi Jim, hi Palak, how's it going? So, yeah, the risotto's been in the oven there, as I said to the guys before. Um, and let me know what you guys are up to, you know? Chime in, uh, what's cooking? What's cooking? What's been cooking? Hi Raj, nice to have you with us again. Uh, in a while you will see the risotto uh, that I've been doing. Again, I'll put the steps up very shortly on Instagram, so please, Check those out if you fancy. Um, yeah, let me know. Have you guys made risotto before? Uh, have you guys eaten risotto before? I mean, the first time I had risotto, uh, when would it have been? I think it was a, a ready meal, microwave ready meal. <laughs> That's when I first had mine, uh, and it was it was like a mushroom risotto. It's quite nice actually. Turkey's now it's had. Yeah, it's okay. But yeah, that was my first kind of experience with that sort of stuff. So, um, and then I kind of mm, never really had risotto much before. I've never really been the sort of fan of rice dishes. But yeah, and I'm this is this is the third time I've made a risotto dish. I've made risotto once before, didn't like it that much, didn't work out well. Made it again in the oven, like you see here, worked out quite well. Uh, and thought I'd make it again and share it with you guys. Okay. Yeah, if this method sends you into a frenzy or you have better ways of doing it, then let me know because I want to hear about it, okay? But yeah, this is this is a simple, cheap way of doing it. Better finish that tea off before the time goes. Good spot.
Yeah, let me know what you're listening to, what you're up to. There we go. Nice and clean there. Forgot about that. Forgot about this. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Time flies, hey? A couple of minutes on that timer. I mean, if you're watching this recording, by the time this goes out, uh, you can just skip and you won't see all this interlude of, of kind of meandering. Uh, yeah. You know. In the world of editing, of course, ideally I'd like to just cut straight to. Oh, and here it is. But yeah, sadly not today, you know, I'm just, uh, so this is real. But at this point, what you usually do, if you fancied Hi Oscar, is you would just put that in, you put that, would have put that in the oven and you can just walk away. And you wouldn't see anything, because I'd be gone, uh, but I'm still here. As I say, just a chat, you know. <laughs> but yeah. It's always strange talking to thin air, talking to a camera, you know, even when you see the messages on the screen and stuff. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're nearly there, guys. I mean, now we're getting to around, yeah, around half eight as time is recording. We're in 8.23 at this point. Um, what time do you have your tea? Because I have your oil. Well, I don't call it tea anyway. I don't know why I even said that. What time do you have your dinner? I mean, that's what I call it. What do you call it? Uh, where are you from? I mean, probably have dinner around six, seven, eight, who knows? Different time, different days. That's probably student life, isn't it? It's not really a fixed time. Oh. We go. Oh yes. Film music. Okay. Let's have a little check. Oh yes. Good stuff. Yes. Let's get our spoon. Give it a stir. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. So you want the rice to be kind of stodgy, which I know isn't a term that you usually use. But you want the rice to be, uh, yeah, kind of soft. Let me show you. Right. Let me show you what it's like. Right. No, nope, you don't want to see me, do you? There we go. Look at that. Let's give that a snap. Okay. So you can see that, you can see all those individual little grains. But yeah, that's done now. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing always, but let me tell you, it is delicious stuff. Nourishing, filling, pretty good for you as well.
annoying. I lost the internet connection. Oh my gosh. Hey. Crazy. Hello again. Okay, so, hello again. For those uh, who were with me on Instagram moments ago, and it just cut out out of nowhere, that was my internet connection, so I'm so sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm a bit frustrated as you are, but the great thing is, the food's done, the risotto's done, uh, here it is. It might not be much to look at, but let me tell you, as I said before, it's pretty tasty. That's kind of what you want. You want this kind of uh, stodgy looking rice because all that flavor has been absorbed into the rice and it's gonna taste pretty nice, okay? Now in terms of the video, uh, usually it'd be on Instagram TV for you guys to watch, for you guys to see how I did it. Uh, as I say, unfortunately, Instagram let me down. It seemed to have cut out for me for some reason. It doesn't usually happen. So the video will be on YouTube very soon if you want to give it a look and I will put the recipe uh, up, the recipe, uh, the words of the recipe up in an Instagram post. But yeah, this dish, I just say, nice and simple. Uh, but yeah, YouTube is the place to go if you want to see how to make this dish, okay? Uh, obviously I also did some sausages as well. Uh, that was just optional, that was just could have them in the, uh, in the fridge anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much my dinner tonight. Not all for me though, I hasten to add some risotto and lovely sausages, but yeah, simple paprika, mushroom, risotto. All right, so yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, that's the it for the Kitchen Hacks instalment this week. Oh, thanks so much, Ayla. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy whatever you've cooked for yourself today. As I say, what, what have you cooked? What was dinner? What was dinner for you guys? Because um, I always want to hear what you've been eating. So, yeah. I didn't mean to, mean to be as creepy as it sounded. Um, that does sound a bit weird, doesn't it? But <laughs> anyway, uh, what I mean is I just hope that you enjoy. You've had a lovely day. And you guys have a lovely evening and enjoy whatever you're cooking. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, I love a bit of Nando's. I do. Oh, it's so good that the, um, obviously, things, all these supermarkets, all these uh, restaurants kind of opening up again. I love a bit of Nando's. Uh, in fact, one thing I would kind of say is, I uh, don't know if you guys have ever had those kind of um, Perry Perry in a bag. So you can get yourself uh, these kind of bags for a pound, couple of pounds. And they come with a bag, like a paper bag, and a spice blend. And all you really do is chop up your chicken breast, chop up your vegetable, chuck it in this bag, put it in the oven, and you've got lovely moist sort of stuff. Oh, I agree. And it's great. So yeah, uh, there's not really much more for me to say to you guys at this point. I'd say if you want to keep the conversation going, if you fancy a chat, um, then I'm, I'm always around to say, just send a message on the Instagram if you want to have any questions about um, Resi Life events and events kind of going forward to the um, the new new year, the new term. And yeah, just as I say, keep me up to date and yeah, I'm, always, I'm there for you guys when you need me, basically. So yeah. Oh, Ayla, I, I study, um, well, I did study a bit of background, Ayla asks. Um, I did philosophy uh, for three years, finished that recently. And yeah, um, I'm kind of just waiting now to uh, hopefully study a master's in, in politics and contemporary history uh, this term. So yeah, what about you? What do you study, Ayla? Any you there? There we go, that's better. What do you study? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Okay. Oh, 
Well, good luck with the application, Ayla. Okay. And if you have any, uh, as I say, if you have any questions about student life, uh, you know, about how things are kind of going to be in the new term, um, about what potential events, and just just any any questions really, just feel free to send them my way. And that goes for everybody, as I say again. And real good luck with the results. Okay. Um, but yeah. On the, I do have to go at this point, as I say, but I will check in with you guys very soon, okay? And thank you so much for watching. It's been a real joy, okay? It's been so lovely to uh, just have you guys join me in my kitchen. And yeah, I hope we can do it again very soon. Next week, join me for pastry parcels, cauliflower cheese. So yeah. <laughs> we'll see you very soon, all right? Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. See you later, okay? Have a lovely week. <laughs>